Tatooine is really another planet. You get to discover the desert, you get to contemplate, and in a funny way, it's a place that nurtures your ambitions and makes you dream bigger. Back when we started, it was almost impossible to get funding as an AI company originally founded in Africa. Even the concept that we were going to do innovation in AI seemed very far-fetched. We took this concept and turned it over its head. We would do world-class innovation and actually get it done with a majority African team. From the first time I met Karim, I could tell that he was very involved in whatever we were discussing, but at the same time, he's always connected with his big objectives. And that typically also involves science. My first call with the founder of BioNTech, Ugu Sahin, and later on the inventor of the mRNA COVID vaccine, was actually about research. And this was just before the pandemic. Breaking news. Possible outbreak. The World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. pandemic. Deadliest year in US history. We saw an opportunity to make a contribution with AI during the pandemic. And so working closely with our BioNTech colleagues, we built up uh, the early warning system, which was actually generative AI before even generative AI existed. We are probably among the first in the world to train AI language models to understand SARS-CoV-2. When the strategic partnership with BioNTech was announced, it was just unbelievable. We were feeling that Tunisia at that point was playing a very crucial uh, role at the global level addressing the pandemic. It's the most powerful technology of our time. And like any powerful technology, it is neutral. So it all depends on who's using it and using it for what. The future is not written. And the best we can do is steer it towards positive outcomes by promoting positive uses of technology, but also regulating when this is necessary, potentially adverse outcomes. There is a compromise to be found, and this is kind of like an important conversation of today.